Hi everybody, it's Belinda and I'm here with you with my first book chat. I'm not calling it a book review yet. I'm a little intimidated by the words, so I'm going to give you a book chat. I have my handy globe here that I have in my office. I let my kids look at it, um, trying to encourage them to improve their geography and I um, myself use it too. So my book that I'm talking to you about, the author is from Nigeria, which is in the continent of Africa, and it is bordered by Cameroon and Benin and Niger and Chad. And um, the author is Helen Oyeyemi, and she, um, I had heard about Helen a couple of years ago, I believe, and um, I forgot about it. And then, you know, I write down sometimes recommendations, which I don't do as much anymore, on post-its and little things, and they get tucked and you forget about them. Then last year, I heard a lot about this particular book, which is her first book, called The Icarus Girl, um, on BookTube, and there was a lot of buzz, and I said, oh, so I ordered it, but I didn't, again, read it until recently. And I... Um, I like the idea she's, you know, she's from Nigeria. She lives in London now. The story is based in London, but the character actually goes to Nigeria as well. And I read it, one, is because I was fascinated because she was so young. She was in, um, like I said, the college, and she was 19, I think, when she first published this. So that's pretty impressive feat. And I wanted to learn a little bit more. I like to read books that talk about different cultures and different countries. And... She, I wanted to read a little bit more about Nigerian culture. And she infuses a bit of Nigerian mythology into this book, um, into this story. And the story is about a girl, and her name is Jesmi, or Jess is, is um, a nickname. Um, and she's in London, and she lives with her parents. She's a product, she's a bi biracial child, and her father is from London, and her mother is from Nigeria. And so the book... This is spoiler free also for anybody. So I hope I wrote it up top. Um, remember to write it up top because I won't tell anything that anybody doesn't want to know about the book. So I won't spoil it for you. She's dealing with, the girl is dealing with um, being of mixed race and dealing with um, a lot of bullying at school. And um, she's trying to find her way to fit in and build her confidence. And as a person of color, a black uh, female in the United States, it's interesting for me to read about race relations in other countries to give me a more broader perspective of how race plays out in other parts of the world. So this was um, interesting to read about her being bullied in school, about um, being mixed. What I think that um, Helen did in this book, which was really a good job, was capture the essence of being a young child and trying to figure out how to build friendships, how to form relationships with people, even with her own parents. And I think that um, this child struggled a lot with, with many issues, trying to find herself, find her place, um, and acceptance. Um, now, I have very little experience with fantasy um, and um, magical realism, I guess that might be what we would refer to this as. So there's aspects in the story um, that I, um, <clears throat> pardon me, sorry, that I had to grow accustomed to while I was reading it. Um, and so she has what she has, which we believe to be an imaginary friend in the story and, or some people will call it a doppelganger, but I'm not sure. And th there's some questions I still have in the book. Um, that's in this book, and she infuses very nicely some Nigerian mythology, particularly when the main character and her family travel to Nigeria um, for the first time. She's meeting her mother's family. She's um, uh, Oyeyemi did a grand job of the essence of, you know, capturing the sights, the smells, the sounds, the experience of how it's just kind of thrown at her when she first gets there. And, um, and so that I appreciated a lot in the book. The story, I started reading the story out loud to myself um, and I had intended to read the whole book out loud because I thought it would be a fun uh, experience. I, re I tend to read a lot out loud. I read when I'm waiting for pickup for my kids 
and I like to hear the written word out loud. So sometimes I'll do that with books and I had intended all purposes to do that with this book, but I have my family and there were times when I'm reading it when they were around and I'm sure they didn't want to hear my story. So, um, so in the beginning, I felt the book really was just pulling me and I was going along with it. There were parts in it where it just kind of slowed and eh. Um, but overall, I mean, I really liked the book. I think that it gave you uh, a story of, of, of really of the struggles of this little girl. And um, I think the ending is where I have some questions. I don't know how people can do that. If you can comment what you thought about the ending below, but say that it's spoiler so that other people won't read it so that they won't, you know, it won't ruin it for them. But I have questions about the end that I would love to talk to somebody about that read the book. I um, have every intentions of reading her books in order because I want to kind of see how she grows as an author and to see if there's similarities between the books um, stylistically and just symbolically. And so this is the first, and I think this was 2005 or six that this came out. And the next one I think is called, and let me look at my little cheat, cheat, cheat. The next one is, I think it was in 2008, and it's called The Opposite House. Yeah, that was June 2008 that came out. So that'll be the next one I'll read. I won't read them back to back, but I will read them close enough so that I can be able to tell you what I think, um, if I see any similarities, if I feel that the books are getting better um, over time. Would I recommend the book? I think highly. I think it's a great book, um, and it's an interesting story. It's at the end that kind of gets me. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope to continue to read some more, um, authors, particularly in this region. I have read some in the past, um, but I've started to really pay attention, um, now to where I am reading, um, the books. So that is all I have in my book chat. I don't want to take up too much time. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Find the positive in your day, grasp onto it and just ride it because um, better days are always coming. And you guys will have a blessed day. Happy reading, and I'll see you soon, okay? Take care, bye.